Hello, I am Dr. Jeffrey Indies, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about how to teach medical students, residents, and trainees. In my opinion, we as educators are bestowed a true honor when it comes to educating our future vascular surgeons and is really what makes this job exciting every day. We should never abuse this honor, however, it comes with great responsibility. Not only should we serve as role models for our mentees, but we should be ever cognizant that we set the standard for their positive influence. Our enthusiasm, compassion, sound judgment, safeness as surgeons, and knowledge will serve as a basic foundation for them as they mature and gain experience. Not only will this positively influence outstanding students to pursue vascular surgery residencies, but it will make our trainees better clinicians. I've broken down the fundamental components which serve as true guidelines for one to follow as he or she looks for guidance in becoming a superior educator. First off, we need to teach in a didactic form. At our institution, we have a very structured conference schedule for an hour and a half on Monday mornings, which include a year-long didactic curriculum based on the APDVS website outline. Residents and fellows present 20-minute talks on each topic throughout the course of the year. In addition, we include case presentations, morbidity and mortality, and journal club, and occasionally, we have a guest speaker. Second, we must dedicate time to teach when seeing consults and primary patients in the ER and on the floors. It is tempting to breeze by and make rounds quickly to get home, but spending a bit of extra time on the floors is vital in students' and trainees' ability to care for patients and make critical decisions. This also goes with providing a good teaching environment on clinic or office hours. Thirdly, the operating room. It is important to not jeopardize the safety of the patient, but to also allow trainees and even medical students an opportunity to help perform portions of cases. These positive experiences for students are irreplaceable. With respect to trainees, as time goes by, it is important to bestow autonomy, so when they do their first cases as attendings, the anxiety level is somewhat lessened. A mentor-mentee program which matches medical students with an at attending in surgery has served as a very positive influence on students. This has also allowed those interested in vascular surgery to choose vascular attendings to shadow and discuss areas of concern and interest. I encourage you to start this program if you do not already have it in place. As we move forward as educators, challenges we face include developing the O5 program, which will take a considerable amount of patience for us as educators. In addition, we will need to provide our trainees with guidance and knowledge as they prepare and take the surgical principles exam prior to completing vascular residency. Finally, we should not lose sight in the fact that residents become interested in vascular later in residency and we train fantastic vascular surgeons in the 5-2 format. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.